Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers. This is kind of full. And I realized that if I show it to you this way, of course you can then see how big it is compared to my head. But these, it's hot. See it? How it's on the inside and it's, holy mother of God, that's hot. Just pour it. Anyway, um, happy Thursday. Um, why do I even say happy Thursday? It doesn't even matter what time it is or what day it is because by the time I upload these videos and actually remember to make them live in public, it's another day. What are you going to do? Welcome to my life. Anyway, so I am, I just finished. And uh, by the way, remember I referenced in my last video? that I would be using the Under Armour 39. Oh, it's a little sweat left over. Um, I have to, I need a little help. They're gonna help me set it up because I set it up wrong. So stay tuned and I'll, I'll give you my impression on that. Um, here's the thing. I wanted to tell you guys that, um, kind of just a little update on some of these workouts um, because thank God, I think we're back to, I know we are. Um, no more odd sicknesses or crazy dental work. Although I do have to go back to the dentist. Um, but that said, I'm really getting back into a groove with my new, uh, um, my new workout focus, which is incorporating my new obsession, Ultimate Yogi, every day. Um, doing this at night. I'm going to get back to that in a second. And. Uh, then my new goal, what I'm working forward, does that even make any sense? Make, working forward um, is car still doing my cardio uh, in the morning, you know, every day. I'm deep. <laughs> Can't talk today. MD tummy cardio in the morning, and then four days of weight training. Um, and that might sound like a lot to you guys. I'm not doing this. Be I mean, this is what I want to do. Okay, so the. Ultimate Yogi program, if you buy this, you know, they say you're doing, you're committing to 108 days of yoga every day. Some people might just do that, okay? I like, I love yoga, and especially this, and especially when I go to Corey's class, you know, and you're really, it's not like light fluffy yoga. You're actually really progressing and changing your body and getting strong. It's, plus, it's, like I said, the mind and spiritual Zen benefits are, are incredible. So, for me, this is so enjoyable that um, I'm not looking at it like, oh God, you know, doing something every night. I almost feel like doing my yoga at night is just the perfect way to kind of start getting my mind, you know, wound down. I told you guys I had issues sleeping because my mind is going so fast about business. So, I really enjoy this, doing it at night, I'm gonna back to that. And then, um, you know, I've kind of gotten used to getting up every day, and that's just what I do. It's become a habit. Um, it's almost weird for me to think of getting up and not doing a workout to some degree. I went running yesterday, um, which was awesome. I seem to have a weird issue when I run in Chicago. Maybe I'll get back to that in a second. I'm not quite sure if I feel like sharing that. It's bizarre. Um, so I ran yesterday. This morning what I did is I did a 30-minute, but I didn't finished the whole thing. I just did the um, Turbo Fire, one of Shaleen's 30 minute things, and then I went right into this bad boy. I'm obsessed with this, okay? Um, and I'm definitely gonna start um, incorporating two, the Physique 57, and so on. Um, but this is so killer for your legs and your butt and your lower body. It's amazing. I gotta say, that combined just with overall, you know, losing fat and whatever, and then all of the yoga that I'm doing, I, it is really cool. I, okay, see your legs? Like, I'm really into define, I'm not looking to get like skinny Gwyneth Paltrow legs, okay? I want muscle and I want definition and I've always admired that. And I inherited my dad's legs, so I have really strong muscular, um, you know, quads and, hamstrings to some degree, but I've always had really strong um, thighs, 
I've just also carried fat there. So as I'm losing fat, it's so cool to be doing my yoga. Look at that hair. Ooh. It's so cool to do yoga or get back from my, my running and I'm working on my stretching or I'm doing this and to be able to look down and see this beautiful definition that I'm getting. It is the coolest thing ever. Um, nerd moment, sorry. But um, anyway, also, I should probably make a note to myself. Um, so I've done her lower body workout. I still have to be honest with you, and this is a problem. You guys know I have a problem with this. I'll get like a series, I find something I love and then I keep doing it over and over again because I love it so much. I still haven't done the total body, which I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave these out and schedule over the next week to do all of these and the core. Now, back to this. I really shouldn't do, I should make a note to myself that when I do the strength workout in here, that I don't do a focused leg workout the next day because he really blows out your legs in this um, strength workout. So the workouts that you get in Ultimate Yogi, um, I should have brought in a little, where's the little map thing? Hold on, I'm gonna see if I have it over here. Hold on, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, I swear to God. I just don't have the whole, oh, you know why? I don't have the map because, see how I was on my tiptoes? Strengthening my feet. Um, the reason I don't have the map or the, the big poster is because I put the poster up. Wow, that makes me look really short. Hello? Um, I have the poster up in my office so that I can see, you know, kind of the plan that he has laid out for every 30 days. But here's the deal. So here's what you get in the Ultimate Yogi and, um, like I said, I'm obviously obsessed with this. But here's the different workouts. So you get cross training is one. You gotta make sure nothing falls out. Cardio is another workout. Strength, which I did last night. Flexibility. Balance. Detox. Vitality. Hardcore, which is core. Uh, yin yoga, ooh, stop it, gentle yoga, see there's a lot in here, uh, mountain pose series, and that also has the, uh, hope I'm saying this right, pranayama meditation, and then sun salutation, so you get all those workouts, right, and um, then basically he's mapped out 108 days, so each day you're doing, you know, a, a workout, and what he'll do is he'll say like, number one, you do the cardio, and then you're 10 minutes of meditation, and then you're doing um, hardcore. The next day you do um, strength or whatever, and then 10 minutes of meditation. He, he, it looks like he alternates hardcore, which is the core workout, in addition to your yoga workout every other day. I'm almost at 10 minutes, I gotta shut up. So, here's the thing. Because I'm doing this at night, um, I think what I'm gonna do is, my hair is just, look at that, it's all, of course I did just finish working out, so it's allowed to look like a sweaty mess. Um, I think what I'm gonna be doing as far as the core, is I'm gonna do my core training with my morning, or, or my weight training workouts. Um, I'm just kicking while I'm here. Um, see all this stuff is making me so much more flexible and <laughs> excited about what I'm achieving. You know, like half the reason that I'm on my tiptoes, I'm on my tiptoes anyway just because of the way I threw the camera up there and I don't want to be here. I feel very, very short right now. Um, but I'm also doing this because it's strengthening. I'm really focused on strengthening up my feet. And this is one of the things that I do to strengthen uh, my my toes and work on my supination issues. Apparently, only 5% of people, I learned this from Reebok, are supinators. I'm a supinator, not a pronator. That means my feet go out versus most people tend to pronate in. Leave it to me to be odd. Um, but anyway, because the hardcore, I think the hardcore workout is, it's like 300 total crunches, like 10, whatever, anyway. I'm doing my core stuff during the day because pretty much all of his yoga workouts, that sounds funny, yoga sessions are at least an hour. And if I'm doing that at like eight o'clock at night or even maybe say nine o'clock at night, if it's that kind of a night and I'm not going out, um, 
I, I don't want to then add another half an hour and then shower under the bed. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm taking the core and I'm putting that in with my morning workouts. Still haven't quite figured out. I'm not hitting my gym for weight training this week. That's going to start next week um, because of my new trainer situation. Um, I'm, I haven't quite figured out how, if, if I'm going to like, so say I'm going to train at the gym at 10, 10 in the morning. Um, then I, I'm guessing maybe I wouldn't get up and do cardio at home. I would just go to the gym, do my weights with him, then cardio and whatever. So I just, you know, I kind of have gotten into this habit of getting up first thing in the morning and doing my cardio. That's all. But I'm certainly not going to do cardio, then go do a two hour workout, then do yoga later. That's kind of overkill. Maybe it's not. Oh God, that's so good. Anyway, I wanted to just let you guys know what I'm loving. Um, I'm totally obsessed, love uh, Ultimate Yogi. I mean, last night in that strength workout, he did this one, he calls it awkward hip extension. I, and I'm like, w with both of them, not so much with, with the yoga part, because I just know that those weird poses that get you into where this situation where you're strengthening muscles you didn't even know you had, that's been around for a while. With her, sometimes I'm like, what? Do did you spend all day, it's kind of like Kathy Friedrich, I always go, what, what did you do? Did you just sit in a room and like go, okay, I'm gonna move my body one inch to the left and then bend over like this and then stick my leg up. Oh wait, that, look at that. And then that figure, they figure out like that's how that works, that one part of your glute that you haven't been able to work in the past. It's pretty cool. All I'm saying is I'm working muscles that I've never worked before and it feels pretty awesome. Yeah, so. You guys have a good rest of the day. I'm shutting up. It's under 12 minutes, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay?